This is the four unknown Kramer's rule calculator for MathCelebrity.com. There's two ways you can get there. You can either type four unknowns or Kramer's rule. So this is the calculator. Now this represents the coefficients of your four unknown equations. So this represents like AW, BX, CY, DZ equals E. So when you're all set with your coefficients, you press the solve for unknowns button. And so the first thing we do is we list out the equations that your coefficients represent. So you could go here and say, is this what I really meant to enter? And if not, you can kind of look and see, okay, this coefficient represents this letter here. So once you're all set, there's a lot of math on this lesson, but we I go ahead and break it down in five steps. So we're going to calculate our delta first. So there's five delta pieces, and each of these letters that you'll see throughout our lesson represent the coefficients that you enter. So as you can see, A was 2, G was 7, M was 12, and then for S, you entered 17. So that's how you kind of follow along. So once we've got our five delta formulas, we go ahead and sum that up and get a total delta answer. We're going to do the same exact thing for W, X, Y, and Z roots. So here's our W, five roots, with our letter formulas. We're going to go ahead and add those up, and we get a W equal to 9, 1920. Let's do the same for our X's. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then we add those up. We're going to do the same for Y. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We're going to add those up. There's a whole lot of math there. And finally, Z. We're going to add those five pieces up. So Z1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, sums it up, get 7,040. Once we're done with that, we're ready to solve. So in the beginning, we calculated a final delta at 640. Now each of these pieces, W, X, Y, and Z, were the final piece after we added up the five sub pieces. So for W, we get this. X, we get this. Y, we get this. And then Z, we get this. And then at the end, after we calculating each root, I kind of list it out in a, you know, expression with parentheses so you can see all roots on one line. So what we, we just solved for a known equation system using Kramer's rule. Now, if you want, you can press generate practice problem button and then I'll generate four completely random equations. You press it again. And you can see four more random equations. Press it again. Four more random equations. So when you're ready to solve that particular system, you just press solve for unknowns. And it solves that particular equation set for you. W, X, Y, Z, and our solutions. So that's pretty much it. If you do have any questions or enhancement suggestions, please use the contact us link. We also have a quiz generator as well to keep your skills sharp. Thanks for watching.